Hello students, this is second lecture on trigonometry. Today we shall see generalized definition of trigonometric ratios and also trigonometric functions. Trigonometric ratios first. Let x dash ox and y dash oy are two mutually perpendicular straight lines intersecting at the point O, which divide the plane of the lines into four parts or four compartments you can say which are called four quadrants we choose the line x dash o x as x axis the line y dash o y as y axis and the point o as the origin of the rectangular cartesian coordinate system now let a revolving ray starting from its initial position o x this is the initial position of the revolving ray o x Revolving about O traces out an angle theta and OA be its terminal position. So the ray starting from its initial position OX revolving about O coming to the position OA traces out the angle theta. The angle theta is measured positive or negative according as the rotation is anti clockwise or clockwise respectively that is if the ray rotates in anti clockwise direction and comes to the position oa then theta will be positive angle and if the ray rotates about o in clockwise direction and comes to the position oa the angle theta will be negative now let p be any point other than o on the terminal side oa of the angle theta and let op equal to r p is any point on the terminal side of the angle theta and let op equal to r that is distance of p from origin and this r is always taken positive <coughs> let the ordered pair x comma y first bracketed small x comma y be the coordinates of the point capital p and pn is perpendicular on x axis as in figure pn is perpendicular on x axis then on equal to x and pn equal to y this is definition of coordinates but with proper sign x and y will have proper sign depending on the position of the point p in the quadrants and that position of p will also depend on the value of theta if oa terminal side is in second quadrant that is theta is more than one right angle less than two right angle then oa will be in second quadrant in that case if oa is here in that case pn will be here see o this n will be here and on means this x this x will be negative in the second quadrant but y will be positive similarly if oa is in third quadrant theta is more than two right angle less than three right angle then x will be negative y will be negative if oa is in fourth quadrant that is theta is more than three right angle less than four right angle then x will be positive y will be negative so depending on value of theta position of p will be determined and then sine of x and y will be also determined Now we define the six trigonometric ratios for this angle theta. The six trigonometric ratios of this angle theta are denoted and defined as sine of theta, S I N E sine, sine of theta is equal to sine theta. This is notation short, in short we write sine theta equal to y by r, y coordinate of the point P divided by distance of the point P from origin. It is y by r. Although you can remember like that, it is Pn by OP. As in school, we have seen perpendicular by hypotenuse. Looks like perpendicular by hypotenuse. But actually, it should be Y by R. If we say that only perpendicular by hypotenuse, then perpendicular is positive, hypotenuse is positive, always positive. But in our case, sin theta may be negative also, depending on sine of Y. So that's why it is Y by R proper definition. Cosine of theta is written as cos theta, that is x by r, x coordinate of the point P by distance of the point P from origin, x by r. Tangent of theta, 
tan theta in short is equal to y by x, y coordinate by x coordinate. But here a restriction x should not be 0. For sin theta cos theta denominator same r, r is never 0, no problem, we did not mention anything. But here y by x, x may be 0, that's why condition should be there for tan theta x not 0. Next, cotangent of theta, cot theta, cot theta is x by y, x coordinate by y coordinate, x coordinate of the point P by y coordinate of the point P, O n by P n, provided y not 0. Second of theta, sec theta in short, it is r by x, r by x, distance of the point P from origin by x coordinate of the point P, that is reciprocal of cos theta, r by x, O p by O n, provided x not 0 again. Cosecant of theta, that is cosec theta in short, r by y, reciprocal of sin theta, provided y not 0. So, these are the definitions of 6 trigonometric ratios, generalized definition. Here, the angle theta may be having great magnitude. It uh, This OA may, OA, uh, the revolving ray from OAX may come to OA after giving one round. In that case, whatever theta here is actually... Uh, 2 pi plus theta or 360 plus theta, the revolving ray may give 2 rounds. So, it will be 4 pi plus theta like that. So, theta may be arbitrary in magnitude. Now, what does x equal to 0 mean? x equal to 0 implies and implied by OA coincides with OY or OY dash C. If the terminal side OA coincides with OY, that means that in that case P, P any point on OA will be on OY. In that case, X is 0. If terminal side OA coincides with OY dash, then also coordinates of P, rather X coordinate of P will be 0 because P is a point on OY dash that is on Y axis, X 0. So, X 0 means OA, terminal side of the angle theta coincides with OY or OY dash. And that means theta is an odd multiple of pi by 2. See, from Ox to Oy, this angle is pi by 2. So, if Oy coincides with Oy, the angle will be pi by 2. If it coincides with Oy dash, the angle will be 1 right angle, 2 right angle, 3 right angle, 3 pi by 2. If it again coincides with Oy, it will be 5 right angle. If it coincides with again Oy dash, it will be 7 right angle. That means always we are getting odd multiple of pi by 2, odd number of right angles. So, theta is an odd multiple of pi by 2, that is you can say 90 degree, implies and implied by theta is equal to, in short we write twice n plus 1 pi by 2, where n belongs to z, n is any integer. If the rotation is clockwise, then negative odd multiple, so that's why n belongs to z. So, for tan theta n cos sec theta, tan theta n sec theta, x not 0. x not 0 means theta cannot be twice n plus 1 pi by 2. That's why we are writing for tan theta and sec theta to be meaningful, that is to be defined. Definition is there for tan theta and sec theta defined. You cannot say undefined. For tan theta and sec theta to be meaningful or defined, we must have theta not equal to twice n plus 1 pi by 2. Theta is not odd multiple of pi by 2. That's why in school also you have seen 10 90 degree undefined, sec 90 degree undefined. This is the region. 10 pi by 2, sec pi by 2 not defined. Not only that pi by 2, it may be 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, 7 pi by 2 or minus 3 pi by 2, minus 5 pi by 2, minus 7 pi by 2 like that. So, theta should not be odd multiple of pi by 2 for 10 theta and sec theta. That means in the domain, this twice n plus 1 pi by 2 should not be there for 10 theta and sec theta. Next, y equal to 0 means what? y equal to 0 implies and implied by, y means y coordinate, OA, terminal side of the angle theta, coincides with OX or OX dash. Let us see. y will be 0. y 0 means, y coordinate 0, that means the point should be on x axis. That means our OA, terminal side, should either coincide with OX or coincide with OX dash. In that case, P point, which was originally on OA, will be on OX or OX dash. Means, by 0. And if OA coincides with OX, then theta is 0 or 2 pi or 4 pi, there is even a multiple of pi. And if 
OX coincides with OX dash, then theta will be first pi, 180 degree pi, and then it gives another round, it will be 3 pi, then 5 pi like that. That means if OX coincides with OX, theta will be even multiple of pi, and if OX coincides with if OA concerns with OX, theta will be even multiple of pi. And if OA concerns with OX dash, theta will be odd multiple of pi. That means theta is any multiple of pi. So we write here. Y0 means OA concerns with OX or OX dash. That means theta is a multiple of pi. Any multiple of pi. Or in short, we write theta equal to n pi, where n belongs to Z. N is any integer, positive or negative. If n is 0, so automatically our um, OA is on OX. <coughs> so theta is n pi. That means for cot theta and cosec theta to be meaningful, that is to be defined, we must have theta not equal to n pi, where n belongs to z, that is any integer. So these are the restrictions for cot theta, cosec theta and tan theta and cot theta. But for sin theta and cos theta, no restriction, theta can be anything. Thus, we note that tan 90 degree, sec 90 degree, tan 270 degree, then sec 270 degree means 3 right angle, etc. Or in radian symbol you can say 10 pi by 2, sec pi by 2, 10 3 pi by 2, sec 3 pi by 2, etc. are undefined, undefined, meaningless. Similarly, cot 0 degree, cosec 0 degree, cot 180 degree, cosec 180 degree, etc. That is cot 0, cosec 0, cot pi, cosec pi in radian symbol, etc. are undefined, meaningless. From definition of trigonometric ratios, it follows that cosec theta equal to 1 by sin theta. Why? Because sin theta was y by r and cosec theta was r by y. So, obviously, one is the reciprocal of the other. So, cosec theta is 1 by sin theta. This you know from school level also. Or sin theta is 1 by cosec theta. Similarly, sec theta is 1 by cos theta or cos theta is 1 by sec theta. Cot theta is 1 by tan theta or tan theta is 1 by cot theta. Also, tan theta can be written as sin theta by cos theta. Because see, tan theta is y by x. Y by x, I can write y by r divided by x by r. But y by r is sin theta, x by r is cos theta. So that's why tan theta is sin theta by cos theta. Another result. Similarly, cot theta is cos theta by sin theta. So these are the simple relations among these six trigonometric ratios. Already we know. Still, again, I have written. Then, sign of trigonometric ratios, positive or negative, sign. The sign of trigonometric ratios of an angle theta depends on the final or terminal position of the revolving ray forming the angle theta in different quadrants. In first quadrant, all the trigonometric ratios are positive. That is, if theta is such that the terminal side, OA, whatever is in the previous figure, lies in first quadrant. In that case, in the figure you can see, if OA is in first quadrant, where whether theta is an equitangle or theta is 360 plus equitangle or 720 plus equitangle, no matter. If OA is in first quadrant, theta may be of very big size, but if OA is in first quadrant, then X, Y, and R, all three are positive. And trigonometric ratios are defined as ratios of these X, Y, and R. So all numbers are positive, therefore all the trigonometric ratios will be positive. So that is written here. In first quadrant, all the trigonometric ratios are positive because x, y, r are all positive. In second quadrant, sin theta and cosec theta are positive and rest all are negative. Why? Because x is negative in second quadrant and y and r are positive. Sin theta was y by r, cosec theta was r by y. So, ratio of y and r, whether y by r or r by y, positive, that is sin and cosec positive and others will contain x. That's why negative. In third quadrant, tan theta and cot theta are positive and rest all negative because x and y are both negative in third quadrant. So, x by y or y by x will be positive. That's why cot and tan positive and others will be negative because others are with x and r, y and r, where r is positive. So, other four ratios are negative in third quadrant. In fourth quadrant, cos, cos theta and sec theta are positive and rest all are negative because x and r are positive and y is negative. x by r is cos, r by x is sec and rest involve y, that's why negative. And this rule above rule of science can be remembered like ASTC rule. Already you know, still I am again explaining ASTC rule. That is all sin and cos, all sin and cos. That means all positive in first quadrant, 
sin positive in second quadrant, tan positive in third quadrant, cos positive in fourth quadrant. All sin tan cos. First, second, third, fourth like that. Also, reciprocals of sin cos tan are cosec, sec, cot. They are also have the, they are also having the same sign in respective quadrants. Where sin is positive, cosec is positive. Where co, uh, cos is positive, sec is positive. Where tan is positive, cot is positive. Like that. So ASTC rule we remember. Then ranges of values of trigonometric ratios. What values can sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, cot theta take? Can take. Let us see. So again, figure is given here. Cos theta is x by r. X by r. From figure, O n less than or equal to O p. See, O n p is a right angle triangle. O n is base. O p is hypotenuse. So O n less than or equal to O p obvious in a triangle, right angle triangle. Hypotenuse is <coughs> longer. Implies O n means here I have written mod x instead of x. Although in first quadrant O n will be x only, but our theta may be in second quadrant. Theta may be in third quadrant, theta may be in fourth quadrant. In that case, mod x to be given. Because by O n we mean distance of n from O. But by x we mean x coordinate. X coordinate can be negative. X coordinate can be negative. So O n less than or equal to O p means O n mod x less than or equal to R. And for O p we have not given mod R because R is always measured positive already told. R positive and x may be negative. So, so mod x less than or equal to R implies mod x divided by r less than or equal to 1 implies mod x by r less than or equal to 1 because r is positive it can be taken inside mod implies x by r is cos theta so mod cos theta less than or equal to 1 important result you have to remember mod cos theta less than or equal to 1 magnitude of cos theta less than or equal to 1 and if we remove mod that is already explained also cos theta lies between plus 1 and minus 1 for all values of theta whatever theta you give cos theta lies between plus 1 and minus 1 including of course both so this is ranges of values of cos theta or cosine function number 2 sin theta is y by r again from figure <coughs> pn less than or equal to op pn less than or equal to op pn is perpendicular less than or equal to hypotenuse but pn is mod y why because y may be negative but pn is distance from of p from x axis so this should be positive pn so that's why pn means mod y y may be negative so mod y should measure pn so mod y less than or equal to r as before mod y by r less than or equal to 1 y by r mod less than or equal to 1 that is mod sin theta less than or equal to 1 exactly similar to cos magnitude of sin theta less than or equal to 1 that is sin theta lies between plus 1 and minus 1 including both of course for all values of theta so sin theta and cos theta have the same range minus 1 to plus 1 Number 3, sec theta is r by x, where x not 0. So that sec theta is meaningful, sec theta is defined. So from figure, o n less than or equal to o p, as before, o n less than or equal to o p, but o n is mod x less than or equal to r, or I can say r greater than or equal to mod x, or r by mod x greater than or equal to 1. Here, of course, we are assuming x not 0, or mod r by x greater than or equal to 1. That is, why we have written r by x? Because we need sec theta. So sec theta, mod sec theta greater than or equal to 1. This is another result. Magnitude of sec theta greater than or equal to 1. Should be remembered. Whatever theta may be. Therefore, sec theta greater than or equal to 1 or sec theta less than or equal to minus 1. This is also standard result while finding uh, domain range of functions we have seen. Mod sec theta greater than or equal to 1 means if you remove mod, sec theta greater than or equal to 1 or sec theta less than or equal to minus 1. That is lies outside plus 1 and minus 1. Cos theta lies between plus 1 and minus 1. Reciprocal sec theta lies outside plus 1 and minus 1. Of course, including both 1 and minus 1. Provided theta not equal to twice and plus 1 pi by 2. Because we have mentioned x not 0. x not 0 means theta not equal to odd multiple of pi by 2. So, ranges of sec theta. It can go up to infinity, it can go up to minus infinity, but not between 1 and minus 1. Similarly, cosec theta, mod cosec theta also greater than or equal to 1, that is cosec theta greater than or equal to 1 or cosec theta less than or equal to 1, provided theta not equal to n pi, theta is not any multiple of pi, so that cosec theta is meaningful, defined. Next, tan theta, tan theta is y by x, 
where x not zero. That is theta not equal to 27 plus 1 pi by 2, not an odd multiple of pi by 2. <coughs> now, y. Let us take the terminal side in first quadrant. When y greater than 0 and x is very small but positive, y fixed, arbitrary but fixed, let us take any point on the terminal side. Here is the point P and its y coordinate is y. This is fixed, suppose. And x is very small but positive. That is when, but when it will happen, when the terminal side of the angle theta is very near to OI, very near to OI in first quadrant. That is when theta is very near to pi by 2. Theta is not 90 degree, not pi by 2, but very near to pi by 2. In that case, what will happen? This OP will be very near to OI. In that case, x, this x will be very small. Theta is very near to pi by 2, but less than pi by 2. In that case, x will be very small, so y by x becomes very, very large. y will be having a fixed value, but x will be very, very small. In that case, y by x becomes very, very large. And that we write, y by x tends to infinity. y by x tends to, red as tends to infinity when y greater than 0, arbitrary but fixed, and x tends to 0 plus 0. Meaning of x tends to 0 plus 0 is x is very near to 0, very small but positive. That means to the right side of y axis. And y by x means tan theta. So tan theta tends to 0. Sorry, tan, tan theta tends to infinity. y by x tends to infinity. So tan theta tends to infinity. When? When theta tends to pi by 2 minus 0. See, theta tends to pi by 2 minus 0 means theta is very near to pi by 2 but less than pi by 2 so that our terminal side of the angle theta is in first quadrant means x remains positive y is positive x positive so ratio is positive that's why y by x tends to infinity similarly when y greater than 0 and x tends to 0 minus 0 see if i consider the terminal side of the angle theta in second quadrant but very near to oi very near to oi if p is here P is here. Then y as before, y will be positive. This y will be positive. And this x, this x will be negative. Here x will be coming. X will be here, but this x will be negative and very small. That we write y greater than 0 and x tends to 0 minus 0. Very near to 0 but negative. In that case, what is <coughs> happening? Theta tends to pi by 2. Theta is very near to pi by 2 but greater than pi by 2. See in the second quartet. Slightly more than pi by 2. Slightly more than 90 degree. So theta tends to pi by 2 plus 0. And in that case, y by x tends to minus infinity. Because y positive, x negative. Positive by negative is negative, but y is a constant, positive, constant, but fixed value, but x is very, very small. So the ratio is very, very large with a negative sign. So tends to minus infinity. And that is tan theta tends to minus infinity. Thus we see that when theta is very near to pi by 2 from the left or from the right, depending on this fact, tan theta tends to plus infinity or tan theta tends to minus infinity. Therefore, now next let us see y by x again, excluding this plus infinity minus infinity. Also, y by x can take any real value, positive or negative, or zero. When it will be 0? If y is 0, y by x will be 0. x is not 0 and y is 0, suppose, then it will be 0. And y by x also can take any real value, which is possible. Why possible? For suitable position of the terminal side of the angle theta in different quadrants. We can take the terminal side of the angle theta in various quadrants. We can adjust value of theta and then x and y will be, will be changing and the ratio will take any value whatever we want. So y by x ta takes any value actually and that is tan theta can take any value. <coughs> that means tan theta lies between minus infinity and plus infinity. So this is the range of tan theta minus infinity to plus infinity. Of course equality you cannot give. Tends to infinity not equal to infinity. So, range of tan theta is minus infinity to plus infinity, of course, excluding the infinities, 
provided theta not equal to odd multiple of pi by 2. Similarly, cot theta also ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity, provided theta not equal to n pi. Theta not equal to n pi. Therefore, ranges of cot theta and ten theta is the set of all real numbers. All numbers between minus infinity and plus infinity is the set of real numbers. So, ranges of cot theta and ten theta is the set of all real numbers R. Next, basic identities. The results you know from school also. Still, I am showing again. From figure. O n square plus p n square equal to o p square. Pythagoras. O n square plus p n square equal to o p square. Pythagoras law. Pythagoras theorem. O n means o n square means x square. P n square means y square. Coordinates of p x comma y suppose. So x square plus y square equal to r square. O p is r. Now divide by r square. X square by r square. Y square by r square equal to one. Now it is x by r square. Y by r square. But what is x by r? By definition, cos theta. What is y by r? Sin theta. So cos theta square plus sin theta square equal to 1. But this cos theta whole thing square is usually written as cos square theta. Sin theta whole thing square is written as sin square theta. It is not sin square theta square. It is not cos square theta square. Just cos square theta. But meaning is cos theta whole thing square. Sin square theta meaning is sin theta whole square. Remember. So cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1. All of you know. And from this by product formula, <coughs> cos square theta is 1 minus sin square theta. Sin square theta is 1 minus cos square theta. Again, x square plus y square equal to r square we have. Let us divide by x square this time. So, 1 plus y square by x square is r square by x square. In place, 1 plus y by x square equal to r by x square. Now, what is y by x? 10 theta. r by x is sec theta. So, 1 plus 10 theta square equal to sec theta square. That is, 1 plus 10 square theta equal to sec square theta. Standard result, you have to remember. 1 plus 10 square theta equal to sec square theta. Or, by sec changing, we get 10 square theta equal to sec square theta minus 1. And main one, <coughs> is sex square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1. So, this is another identity. Cos square theta plus sin square theta 1, sex square theta minus tan square theta 1 and these are byproduct you have to remember. Again, x square plus y square equal to r square divided by y square. It will be x square by y square plus 1 equal to r square by x square. So, x by y square means cot theta square and r by y square means cosec theta square. So, cot square theta plus 1 equal to cos x square theta. So, you remember it like that 1 plus cot square theta equal to cos x square theta or cos x square theta minus 1 is cot square theta by product formula. But main one we write it cos x square theta minus cot square theta equal to 1. So, three basic identities we have proved. <coughs> Although from cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1 that is from number 1 you can deduce 2 and 3 very easily just dividing by cos square theta or dividing by sin square theta. I have shown direct proof. So, these are trigonometric ratios definition, basic identities, ranges of values of trigonometric ratios and definition is general. Why? Because theta may not be equitangle, theta may be of very large magnitude, no matter definition is same because we have defined in terms of coordinates of the point P on the terminal side of the angle theta and distance of the point P from origin. So, whatever magnitude theta may have, no matter. <coughs> now, this trigonometric ratio, six trigonometric ratios may be considered as functions also, trigonometric functions. So, we define it now, Trigon definition of trigonometric functions or circular functions. Trigonometric functions are also called circular functions because they are related with the circle. So, let us see it. We consider a unit circle with center at the origin and radius 1 unit, 1 unit. That's why it is unit circle which intersects positive x-axis, y-x, positive x-axis at the point capital A. Suppose name of the point is A, point of intersection, and coordinate will be 1, 0, obviously, because radius is 1, 1, 0. It is on x axis, which is a fixed point. And from this point, arc lengths will be measured. This fixed point A, from it, arc lengths will be measured. And they will be measured positive or negative according as the arc is described in anticlockwise or clockwise directions respectively. If you measure arc in anticlockwise directions A to P like this in this way you, if you go it will be positive but if you move in this way clockwise direction it will be negative. So arc lengths measured from A 
positive in anticlockwise direction and negative in clockwise direction. Let P be any point on this circle such that R K P equal to theta unit. P is any point on this circle and R K P equal to theta unit so that angle A O P. This angle A O P will be theta radian. This angle A O P will be theta radian. Why? This angle A O P will be theta radian. Region is one unit of the arc subtends because radius of the circle is one. So one unit arc of the circle subtends one radian at the center. This is the definition of one radian angle. And here theta unit. See if if we take two unit arc. 2 unit arc then 2 radian 3 unit arc 3 radian if you take half unit arc then half radian so if i take theta unit arc then theta radian so angle subtended at the center is also theta radian that's why it is written in the bracket so r kp theta means angle subtended at the center is also theta radian and let first bracket at x comma y coordinates of this point p coordinates of this point p x comma y let us write here x comma y coordinates of p. let x comma y be the first point x comma y be the coordinates of the point p then we define cosine of theta equal to x or cos theta equal to x and sine of theta equal to y or sine theta equal to y see a unit circle is considered a is a fixed point on the unit circle, A bracketed 1, 0, P is any point on the circle and R K P is theta. And this P will have a it will have coordinates. Say so X and Y, X coordinate and Y coordinate, X comma Y. And this X is called cos theta and Y is called sin theta. This is the definition. This is the definition. Because if I change theta, P will be changing. If I change theta, P will be changing. And at the same time, X and Y will be changing. So there is a relation between x and theta. There is a relation between y and theta. The relation between x coordinate and theta, arc length theta, is called cosine function. And the relation between y coordinate and theta is called sine function. That's why x is cos theta, y is sine theta. And this definition actually coincides with our previous definition. Previous definition is not violated. You can see, I show you. So, Say this is perpendicular let us draw from P to and Pn. Then On is X and Pn is Y. So according to previous definition, what is this? This is X, this is Y coordinate. So and this is 1. This is uh, OP is here R, R is here 1. So Previously, cos theta was x by r. Previously, cos theta was x by r. Here, r is 1. So, x by 1. Base by hypotenuse like that. x by 1 is cos theta. Correct. And y by 1. y by r is y by 1. So, it is sin theta. So, the definition not violates the previous definition. But here, you may not say that this angle, uh, a theta is an angle. We, we may forget this angle. We may say that no, it is only arc length theta. Means theta is a real number. Theta is a real number. Theta may not be angle. So we have defined x cos theta equal to x sin theta equal to y. That is x coordinate of the point P is cos theta, y coordinate of the point y coordinate of the point P is sin theta. Where P is such a point for which arc length AP is theta unit. Theta is a real number here, not angle. We may not consider as an angle, although we have shown it is we can discard again. Let us look at. Not less than. Then also we define tan theta tangent of theta tan theta equal to y by x provided x not zero. Second of theta sec theta y by x provided 
theta not equal to sn plus 1 pi by 2. For tan theta and sec theta, denominator should not be 0, x not 0, and x not 0 means what? Theta not equal to twice n plus 1 pi by 2. Why? Here we can see that if the point P coincides with this point here on y axis, then the arc length, arc length will be pi by 2 because the perimeter of the circle is 2 pi into 1, radius is 1, unit circle, radius is 1, radius is 1. So, 2 pi r means here 2 pi. Therefore, in first quadrant, up the arc is pi by 2. So, if the point is here P, then arc length will be theta will be pi by 2. And in that case, x will be 0. If point coincides with here, arc length will be pi by 2, pi by 2, pi by 2, 3 pi by 2. And x will be 0. P will be on y axis. x will be 0. So, x not 0 means P should not lie on y axis. That means theta should not be odd multiple of pi by 2. So, that we have data. Theta may not be angle. So, for tan theta sec theta, theta not equal to s n plus 1 pi by 2. Similar to previous one. Also, cotangent of theta is cot theta equal to x by y. Cosecant of theta is cosec theta is 1 by y. Provided y not 0. And again, y not 0 means our point P should not be on x axis means p should not coincide with this point a p should not coincide with this this point here that means if p coincides with this y will be zero if p coincides with this point y will be also zero but if p coincides with a then theta is zero or 2 pi or 4 pi like that because 1 round means 2 pi, 2 round means 4 pi and if theta coincides with this point in the negative side of x axis then theta will be pi, 3 pi after uh, 5 pi like that. That is odd multiple of pi here, even multiple of pi means any multiple of pi. So finally we have written theta not equal to n pi. So this is the definition of trigonometric functions means sin theta cos theta etc can be considered as functions of real numbers theta unit arc length theta is a real number may not be angle now one note let us see for any given real number theta now i am considering theta real number not as angle for any given real number theta where theta lies between 0 and 2 pi including 0, excluding 2 pi, or theta may be between minus 2 pi and 0, excluding minus 2 pi, including 0. We can find a point P with coordinate x, y on the unit circle with center at the origin such that arc a p equal to theta. It should be arc a p, arc a p equal to theta. Here it should be arc a p. In the PDF, it will be corrected. arc a p equal to theta where a first bracket 1 comma 0 coordinate 1 comma 0 is a fixed point on the unit circle given a value of theta between 0 and 2 pi we can find point any point it will range from a to this again a anywhere it will be depending on value of theta so whatever theta given depending on that theta we can find a point on this circle and if theta is negative then we shall go clockwise no matter so this is written there the point p will be same if arc a p equal to point p will be same if arc a p equal to twice n pi plus theta see this is theta after coming to this point if i add another 2 pi means one round then arc length will be 2 pi plus theta but point p is same if i give two round and come here again at p it will be 4 pi plus theta so 2 n pi plus theta you can go clockwise also so 2 n pi plus theta for theta and for 2 n pi plus theta arc length p point will be same means x and y will be same coordinates will be same point same means coordinates same and if coordinates same means cos theta and sin theta same so we see this that's why 
sin twice n pi plus theta is equal to again y because point p will be same so y is sin 2 n pi plus theta means again sin theta cos twice n pi plus theta is x because coordinate p point same and already it was cos theta similarly sec twice n pi plus theta is sec theta cosec twice n pi plus theta is cosec theta bell repeats tan twice n pi plus theta is tan theta cot twice n pi plus theta is also cot theta means values of all trigonometric functions repeats after twice n pi or you can say that every 2 pi also tan n pi plus theta is tan theta cot n pi plus theta is cot theta for tan n cot n pi plus theta is giving the same value although point is not same why we can see p is the point say rk p is theta if i add one pi means semicircle then i shall come to this point p dash diametrically opposite point and so coordinates of p dash will be minus x minus y obviously why because p and p dash if coordinates of p dash are not minus x and minus y then because o is the middle point diameter center is the middle point so coordinates of middle point 0 0 and we know middle point coordinate is x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 so here x and minus x added by 2 will give you 0 y and minus y added by 2 will give you 0 that's why coordinates of p dash are minus x and minus y and this p dash corresponds to the arc length pi plus theta or 3 pi plus theta pi plus theta then again give one down 2 pi again so it will be 3 pi plus theta or 5 pi plus theta like that so this p dash corresponds to odd multiple of pi plus theta and in that case coordinates of p dash will be minus x minus y so minus y by minus x is same as y by x minus x by minus y is same as x by y and therefore ratio remaining same that means cot theta and tan theta remaining same for p dash and if it is even multiple of pi added say theta plus 2 pi then it will be again coincident with p so that's why i have written the point p dash diametrically opposite to p x y arc p p dash is pi so that the point p dash or p corresponds to the arc of length n pi plus theta where n belongs to z if n is odd the arc length will give us the point p dash if n is even the arc length will give us the point p and in both the cases we get the ratio of y by x or minus y by minus x same that's why tan n pi plus theta is tan theta cot n pi plus theta is cot theta next if the coordinates of p are a and b first we did a comma b as in ncrt book it is written a and b and arc length is instead of theta if you write arc length ap is x and coordinates of p a b in that case what will happen instead of x equal to cos theta it will be a equal to cos x and b equal to sin x and for functions generally we write cos x sin x also arc length is x and a b are coordinates a x coordinate b y coordinate so a is cos x b is sin x can be used now what we have seen here sin cos etc repeats the value and that's why we are defining periodic function as if motion of earth repeats after 365 days like that value of function repeats after some constant and such type of functions are called periodic function so we are defining formally periodic function if k is a non-zero constant such that f of k plus x equal to fx f is a function f of k plus x equal to fx for all x in the domain of definition of the function f then f is called a periodic function and the least positive value of k is called the period of the function f f of k plus x equal to fx for all x in the domain of definition of the function then there will be many k but out of this the least positive value of k is called the period of the function the periodic motion of earth is one year at this moment earth is in a position in its orbit after one year it will be again at the same position after two year it will be again at the same position after three year it will be again at the same position 
that is value same but period will be taken as one because one is the least one year is the least uh, period least time that's why it is period so similarly least value of k will be called here period of the function for example sin 2 pi plus x is sin x because 2 pi is the least value this 2 pi will be period also we have sin 4 pi plus x is sin x 4 pi means 2 round sin minus 2 pi plus x will be also sin x because it is clockwise round minus 2 pi added sin minus 4 pi plus x will also give you sin x it is clockwise 2 round etc in general we know sin 2 n pi plus x is sin x instead of theta we are using here x sin 2 n pi plus x is sin x where n belongs to z and 2 pi is the least positive constant for which sin 2 pi plus x is sin x for all x in the domain r and that's why sin function is periodic function with period 2 pi that is sin x is a periodic function with period 2 pi already we have seen here with theta also here we have seen sin 2 n pi plus theta is sin theta same thing here only with x so similarly cosine second cosecant functions that is cos x sec x cosec x are periodic functions with period 2 pi but tangent and contingent functions that is tan x and cot x are periodic functions with period pi because tan n pi plus x is tan x already we have seen tan n pi plus theta is tan theta so here tan n pi plus x is tan x cot n pi plus x is cot x where n is any integer and pi is the least such positive constant with with the fact tan pi plus x is tan x cot pi plus x is cot x means k is here pi k is here pi for all x in the respective domain of course and of course x not equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 for 10x and x not equal to n pi for cot x so that's why 10x and cot x has period pi so this we have to remember tan cot have the period pi sin cos sec cos sec have the period 2 pi after every 2 pi the value repeats Now, one generalized example. Show that the following functions are periodic and find their corresponding period. Sin ax plus b, cos ax plus b, sec ax plus b, cos ax plus b, tan ax plus b, cot ax plus b, everything I have written, where a is a positive constant and b is any constant. a is a positive constant for the time being we are considering. Let fx is sin ax plus b for all x belongs to r. Sin theta. fx is here sin theta. Now, this sin theta, if I consider it theta, I can write sin 2 pi plus theta sin 2 pi plus theta is sin theta we know so we have written now take a common then it will be 2 pi by a plus x plus b this is important step a taken common 2 pi by a plus x plus b a is a positive constant so no problem a can be taken common now this bracketed first bracketed thing let us name as t so it is a t plus b sin a t plus b where t is 2 pi by a plus x now if fx is sin a x plus b then sin a t plus b a x sin a x plus b is f x so sin a t plus b will be surely f t obviously f t using one with x expressed by t i have written explain that means f x is f of t t means here twice a pi by twice pi by a plus x or you can write like this f of twice a twice pi by a plus x is f x means here k is 2 pi by a f of k plus x is f x k is here 2 by 2 pi by a and this 2 pi by a is the least such positive constant why least because here in the first line see this 2 pi we have added now sine 2 pi plus a x plus this 2 pi is the least value you cannot decrease it that's why this 2, two pi by a is the least such positive constant and that's why f x equal to sine a x plus b is a periodic function with period 2 pi by a so this is, becomes a standard result sine sin x is a periodic function with period 2 pi but sin ax or ax plus b is a periodic function with period 2 pi by a provided a is a positive constant similarly cos ax plus b sec ax plus c cosec ax plus b are all periodic functions with period 2 pi by a in particular you can see sin thrice x is a periodic function with period 2 pi by 3 a is here 3 cos 2x minus 3 is a periodic function with period 2 pi by 2 means pi minus 3 plus 3 has no effect coefficient of x has the effect 
cos ax ax plus b b has no effect so 2 by by 2 is pi now if fx is sine 2 minus thrice x see here it is negative minus 3 a is minus 3 so period cannot be negative that's why i write what minus taken common minus sine 3x minus 2 now f of 2 pi by 3 sine 3x minus 2 is already known periodic with period 2 pi by 3 still i have shown here sine f of 2 pi by 3 plus x will be just replacing this x by 2 pi by 3 plus x and then simplifying what you have got minus sin 3x minus 2 but minus sin 3x minus 2 is fx so it is fx f of 2 pi by 3 plus x is fx that means what fx is equal to sin 2 minus 3x originally sin 2 minus 3x is a periodic function with period 2 pi by 3 2 pi by 3 sin 2 minus 3x but period is 2 pi by 3 not by minus 3 next cot ax plus b for all x in the domain here domain of cot cot function domain for all x not okay this for all x in the domain of in the domain of cot function uh, cotangent function cotangent function should not contain n pi but x can be n pi actually it should be ax plus b not equal to n pi <coughs> so better we cut it for all x in the domain just we mentioned for all x in the domain possible domain here it is not like that we shall see in pdf Actually, it should be ax plus b not equal to n pi. Cot of ax plus b is defined only ax plus b not equal to n pi. It is not like this. ax plus b not equal to n pi in the domain. So, domain is like that. ax plus b is not n pi. Now, this I can write cot theta as cot pi plus theta. Cot pi plus theta because this we know. Therefore, again as before taking a common. This is giving name t cot a t plus b where t equal to pi by a plus x so this is ft because fx is cot a x plus b so ft will be cot a t plus b so thus you get f of pi by a plus x is fx and pi by a is the least positive constant therefore fx equal to cot a x plus b is periodic with period pi by a similarly 10 a x plus b is also periodic with period pi by a In particular, tan 3x and cot 3x minus 2 are both periodic with period 2 pi by not 2 pi by a should be pi by a. So this is also not 2. It should be only pi by a. Pi by 3 means it should be period should be pi by 3. Pi by a. A is here 3. This is not correct. Wrong. Now if a is negative period of sin ax plus b or cos ax plus b when a negative we have seen for positive let us say for negative suppose a is negative that is a equal to minus k where k is positive then k equal to minus a and minus a is mod a we know if a is negative then minus a is mod a already known to us so fx is sin ax plus b sin minus kx plus b as before we have taken minus common it is sin kx minus b so f of x is minus sin kx minus b and then sin theta we have written sin 2 pi plus theta again k taken common and then adjusted this is given name t so it is minus sin k t minus b where t is that so it is ft see fx is minus sin kx plus minus b so minus sin k t minus b will be ft with minus sign it will be ft means f of 2 pi by k plus x so f of 2 pi by k plus x is fx for all x in the domain r because for sin n cos no problem r is the domain therefore fx is sin ax plus b that is periodic with period is periodic with period 2 pi by k but k means what k is mod a 2 pi by mod a similarly cos ax plus b is minus cos minus kx plus b is equal to cos kx minus b this time you need not take minus common because one property we know we shall see later of course cos minus theta is cos theta if you take 
remove this minus no matter value will remain same for sine we take minus common for cos minus is absorbed cos minus theta is minus cos theta so cos k x minus b is already known to be periodic with period 2 pi by k but k is mod a so in general period of cos a x plus b and sin a x plus b sec a x plus b cos a x plus b are 2 pi by mod a so general result is 2 pi by mod a and it is 2 pi by a if a is positive if not then we should take mod so this is more general result also period of 10 a x plus b cot a x plus b is pi by mod a and it is pi by a if a greater than 0. Then example 2 it is asked in 18 mention the period of 10 to x question was only mention one mark. So we shall mention period of 10 to x is pi by 2 pi by a a is here 2 pi by 2 but if it is actually justified then I have given also justification let fx is 10 to x then it can be written 10 pi plus 2x 10 theta is 10 pi plus theta take 2 common it will be 10 twice t this is t so 10 twice t means ft because fx is 10 to x so 10 twice t is ft using 1 and t is again pi by 2 plus x so what I have got f of pi by 2 plus x is fx for all x in the domain r not r minus twice n plus 1 pi by 2 and therefore pi by 2 is least and also pi by 2 is least such positive constant so fx equal to 10 to x is period with period pi by 2. Example 3 examine examine I missed examine if the following functions are periodic and find the periodic effect this mod sin x mod cos x mod cos 2x sin square x cos, cos 4x sin cube x cos 3x 4x etc. Let fx is mod sin x for all x belongs to r. Sin x we know periodic with period 2 pi, but mod sin x. So I have written minus sin x. Mod sin x, mod minus sin x same, but minus sin x is sin pi plus x. Second quadrant. This is also standard result. We shall see later. Sin pi plus x is minus sin x. Pi plus x means not second, third quadrant. Third quadrant sin is negative. So minus sin x is sin pi plus x. And pi plus x, if we name as t, it is mod sin t mod sin t will be ft. So what we have got f of pi plus x is fx and pi is least such positive constant. Therefore fx equal to mod sin x is periodic with period pi. Similarly mod cos x will be with period pi and rest left as exercise you will try and some corrections are there and this will be done in this corrections will be done in PDF I shall give you this also will be corrected thank you for today